Hello, Divination, and welcome to part two of our how to indirectly apply section dividers into your design. So this is the final design we're aiming to achieve in today's tutorial. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get designing. Let's start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. And we're going to call this page part two. That and then click on use the div builder. And then we're going to go straight to the, to the visual builder. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start from scratch. So we're not going to carry on from uh, the designs that we did in the previous part one. So what we need to start off by doing is to add a background color to our section. So I'm going to come over here to the top, click this gear, click this gear icon, click on background, and then we're going to add our color in here. Now, if you want to follow along and use the same color as I'm using in this tutorial, you can go ahead and click the link below. I will link to the post in the show notes. Right, so now that we have that, the next thing we need to do now is to go to the top divider. So I'm going to click here on design, and then I'm going to click on dividers, and then we're going to choose our divider style. So I'm going to click this drop down, and then we're going to scroll down until we find, let's go ahead with this one right here. I'm going to select it, and then what we need to do is to set our divider color. So I'm going to click here and paste my color. Now it looks like everything has disappeared, but we're going to fix this in a minute. Right, so the next thing we need to do now is to come over here to divide the height and add 182. And then over here, we want to make sure that our divider arrangement is set to arrange divide arrangement on top of content section. So I'm going to select that. Now, what we need to do is uh, we're going to design this for the desktop only. So the next thing we want to do here is to just make sure that we set the parameters so that this doesn't show on mobile and tablets. So I'm going to click here on advanced and then click on visibility. So to achieve that, all we got to do is to select phone and tablet. So that means this will be only shown on the desktop. So now the next thing we need to do is to add some rows. So I'm going to save here. So by default, we have this row. Now it's time to add the columns. So I'm going to click this plus button here, and then we're going to choose these three equal columns. In column one, we need to add a blurb. So I'm going to select it like that. So as you can see here, we have this content added in straight away by default, which is great. So we need to add or choose an icon. So I'm going to come over here to image an icon. So by default, it's set to an image, as you can see here in the preview, but we want to set it as an icon. So we need to activate here where it says use icon. So I'm going to select that. And uh, the icon we're going to go with is this one right here. Next, we're going to add our background color to the, blur to the blurb. So I'm going to click here on background. Click the plus button and then I'm going to paste my value in here, just like that. Now let's go to the icon settings. So to do that, we're going to click on design, image and icon. And we want to uh, make sure that our icon is set to white. So I'm going to select white like that. So the icon placement is fine over here at the top and we don't need to change this circle icon. So that's fine as it is. The next thing we need to do is to set a specific size for our icon. So to do that, I need to activate use icon font size. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to set my size to about 52. Now let's go into the text setting. So as we can see here, the text is not easily uh, readable behind this background. So we need to make some adjustments to that. So I'm going to come over here to our title font. Right. So first of all, we need to make this white because we can't read it. And then the next thing is we need to center it. So I'm going to click on title text alignment, make sure that's centered. Now we need to make it bold. So I'm going to come over here and set it to bold. We also need to adjust the size. So the size here needs to be about 27. In fact, right now we might as well change this to make it extra bold so that it's very prominent. So let me choose extra bold like that. Right. So next we need to go to the body text settings. So our body text is right here. I'm going to select it, change the color as well. So we're going to make that white and we're also going to make it centered. Right. So as you can see, the text here is very close to the borders. So to make this look really nice, we need to add uh, some um, padding and also some margins. So let's start off by adding our padding. So to do that, we're going to come over here to spacing. So let's start with padding top. So for our padding top, I'm going to set this to a 150. Padding right, we're going to set it to 20. Pa padding bottom, we're going to set this to 50. And padding left, we're going to set this to 20. So you can see here that this looks much better now. Next, let's go to our borders. So I'm going to click on border. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break this chain because I want to apply my borders 
to the bottom only. So I'm just going to use this dial here to dial up to about 20 like that. And then I'm going to do the same over here. Let's make sure that this is set to 20. Now we're just going to add some depth to our design. So we need to do that. We need to go to our box shadow. So I'm going to click on box shadow and the shadow we're going to go with is this one right here. So I'm just going to select it. So right now, before we go ahead, we can see that our shape, our, our border shape is not showing here on the top. That is because I have this extra row. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Right. So now that we have our design in place, the next thing we're going to do is to just uh, clone this a few times and add it into position. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it here like that. And now we can see that our design really follows through and that looks really, really nice. So the next thing I'm going to do to just add a bit of style to this is I'm going to come here to the second one and add a background color. So I'm going to click here in this gear icon to go into the module settings, click on background, and I'm going to change the background color and paste the new one. And as I mentioned before, if you want to use uh, these specific values for my colors or any settings, uh, please go ahead and uh, follow the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. And then uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add a background color for the third one. So let's go ahead and save this for now. And then we're going to click on the gear icon again for the settings, click on background. And then I'm just going to click anywhere in here and paste my color just like that. So finally, we can go ahead and save. Now, this looks really nice on a desktop. So what we need to do is to create a different view for the tablet and smartphone. So what, we are, what we're trying to achieve is for the mobile view to have these on top of each other because that's that has a better viewing experience. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click here to, uh, on this plus button to add a new section. Now, the reason why we're adding a brand new section is because uh, if we clone this, we still need to go in and make further adjustments. Right, so now with that in place, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add my background color for this section. So I'm going to come all the way here to the left and click this gear icon to enter my section settings. Next, I'm going to click on background and click this plus button. And then over here, I'm going to paste my value for my background color. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is to add my uh, divider. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on dividers. So my section divider is pretty much going to be the same as the one I uh, used in the first example. So I'm going to click here and scroll down until I find it. And it's right here. Next, I'm going to add my divider color and I'm going to paste my color in here like that. Now, as before, it looks like it's disappeared, but we're going to go in and fix it. Now, the divider height needs to be set at 182. So I'm just going to type that in here. OK, so now that we have this, we have the divider height. Now the uh, divider arrangement, it needs to be set to on top of section content. So let's go ahead and fix that. Right. So what we need to do next is to add some uh, custom padding. So let's go ahead and click on spacing. Right. So here we're going to add padding of 20 to the top and 20 to the bottom. Right. So another way you could do this to make things faster, I'll just show you. And this is a new feature that we have in DV 3.2 is you can activate this uh, chain and then you can just use the sliders to choose your values or you can just go ahead and type them in. Now, only do this if the value for the top and bottom are the same. But in this case, it's 20 to the top and zero to the bottom. OK, I just thought I'll just show you that quickly. Right. So the next thing we need to do now is to make sure that uh, we set the visibility right, because we want this to show only on the phone and also on the tablet. So as we did before, click on advanced visibility. And this time we want to disable the desktop. So uh, we've disabled the desktop. So this is only going to be shown on tablets and phones. Right. So the next thing we're going to do is to add a new row. So I'm going to save this and then I want to come over here. So right now, as you can see, I'm trying to mouse over this area and I can't seem to find where to click. So to make things easier for me, I'm just going to come here to expand settings, click on wireframe view. And you can see here, it's very easy for me to add my column. So I'm going to click this plus button here, add my single um, column. And then I'm going to go back to my desktop view. Right. So since we're going to be using uh, the same style from here, all we can do is to clone this and bring it into position right here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to hit 
Control C to copy, and then I'm going to hit Control V to paste. So as you can see, now it's shown. Now you may notice that this is uh, a bit faded as I'm working on this. This is because this design is disabled on desktop. So this is how it appears when you design in, uh, in desktop mode. Right, so now that we have this in place, let's go ahead and adjust our width and for our tablet and smartphone. So I'm going to come over here into my blurb module settings. Click on design, sizing, and uh, we need to set this to about 63%. So I'm going to click this tablet and make sure tablet is activated and set this to 63. Click on the smartphone and for the smartphone, we're going to set this to 99%. And then finally, we just want to make sure that this module is aligned to the center. So I'm going to select center. So as I scroll down here, we can see here that this looks great. And uh, if we go to the tablet view, it's, uh, again, this looks really, really nice. So now that we have the first section in place, the next thing we need to do is to clone this twice. Okay, so I'm going to clone this twice by coming over here to the top left. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this like that using the duplicate button. So now we can see that we have one, two, three. So what we need to do next is to change the background color of the second blurb. So I'm going to come over here, click on this icon, and then click on background. So over here, I'm just going to click anywhere uh, in this color area and then paste my value in here. I'm going to save this, move on to the next one, click on my module settings, and then as before, I'm going to click on background and paste my color in here. Great. So now I have all my colors in place. This is our final design. So let's take a look at this. So if I come over here into the different views, if I click the tablet view, you can see here our design looks really nice. If I click on the um, smartphone view, again, we can see that this looks really, really nice and the design is really looking great. Okay, so as you can see on the top here, this is disabled because when you're in the uh, smartphone view and the tablet view, this won't show. Right, so back over here. Now this is activated and this is how it looks. Now, let's add some different styles to what we've just created. So let's go to divider style number two. Now, to achieve these styles, all we have to do is to clone this and then try different styles that you think work with your design. So I'm, I'm going to clone this twice. Right, so the top one is the first style. And then I'm going to come over here to the second one, click on this uh, section settings. And then we're going to come over here to design, click on dividers. So this is where we get to choose our different divider style. So I'm going to click this drop down and uh, choose a different style. So let's try this one right here. So as you can see, uh, as the moment I activated, it really shows uh, beautifully here on my design. So the next one is, uh, in fact, I need to save this first. So let's go to the third design and uh, see what we can do with this. So again, as before, I'm going to click the section settings, click on design, dividers. And for this style, I'm going to click this drop down and I'm going to go with this one. Okay, again, this is beautiful, but um, you can play around with these and see which style you want to go with. So as you can see here, as I'm, I'm, as I'm going through these different styles, you can really see which one uh, works for you. You can always also come here to the divider height and change these values to suit your design. Okay, so, but the one I'm going to go with is this one right here. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm just going to lower my height here because that's a bit too much. And uh, let's just do one more. So I'm going to go ahead and clone this. And then I'm going to go into my section settings. Click on design. And I'm going to go to dividers. Now this time I'm going to do something different. I'm just going to use this uh, divider horizontal repeat to add a different style to this. So as I do this, you can see here that the style is changing. I really like this as well. And then the more you increase it, you can see the design is changing. So I'm going to go ahead and save, and then we're going to take a final look at our design. So I'm going to click on Publish, Exit Visual Builder. Great. So this is our first design, followed by our second one, third, and this is our final design on the desktops. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.